Let's talk nutrition in the ICU from day one through recovery. This figure from Intensive Care Medicine outlines a pragmatic approach across time points from ICU admission continuing through care and even new insults like septic shock. At admission, if the patient is hypoglycemic, start IV glucose. Otherwise, nutrition is typically withheld briefly. In the early ICU stay, ask, is enteronutrition possible? If yes, start low-dose enteronutrition within 48 hours. If not, consider low-dose glucose for non-nutritional energy. As patients stabilize, move to the continuing ICU phase, progressively increasing enteronutrition towards the target. If enteronutrition is insufficient, consider parenteral nutrition. But watch out for refeeding hypophosphatemia, especially with full feeding. If it occurs, reduce macronutrients temporarily and correct electrolytes, particularly phosphate and potassium. Finally, if a patient suffers a new hit like septic shock, consider reducing or stopping nutrition altogether. Throughout all phases, maintain micronutrient support, especially thiamine, during refeeding. Hat tip to the authors. Make sure to check out the vasopressor and inotrope handbook.